All right, we're off and running in uh, the soccer war. And so far, here's his movements. The only problem is, and I'm waiting for his response, is he moved the 5th Infantry, I think, from 1311 to 1310, and it's supposed to move here. So it's required in our scenario rules. I just got done telling him that, uh, telling him about it, and we're going to see what happens. But yeah, this is a quick look at what he is doing right off the bat. I have to wait for his response because, like I said, his unit, he, moved, he moved the 5th from here to here. And it says here in the ooh, scenario rules. Uh, Salvador and 5th Infantry Brigade must end its movement in hex 1411 during game turn one. And he went from, he wanted to participate in this attack, which is fine, but I think it's gotta, it's gotta go here. That's the only requirement. We will be back. We're off and running. Feeling a little bit better. We're gonna see what's going on, but it is the uh, Honduran, or Sal San Salvador players, first turn, day after the soccer game when they won, and troops are crossing the border. We'll be back. All right, feeling a little bit better. Getting it going with this uh, Empire of the Sun game, and we got double duty today. <laughs> we got we got two games going on. I'm waiting for my turns for my buddy, but yeah, this is what it's all about. Feeling a little bit better. Getting ready to go outside, get some fresh air, play with the dog. But yeah, we got the old E far going. We're all sitting down here in the war room section of man cave. War games left and right. <laughs> oh, hold on. My other left and right. <laughs> Bye. Well, we have been playing some Central America and uh, getting our moves done. It is now uh, turn two. I got everything straightened up here. One more turn left in this game. Give you a little fly over of our little display. He has no air units in this scenario. It is the uh, communist player turn. We'll wait for his uh, second turn moves. Uh, so far, here you go. We got victory points. Orange for communist, blue for me. And I am leading 7 2 1. You can see here on the boards. He's went and got himself a couple victory point hexes. And uh, the reason I got most of my points is because, number one, I owned a Goosegalpa. And this spot right here and that spot right there. You'll see what happens. I think this is worth five and these are worth ones. But uh, I did launch an air mission from here. I've changed, uh, done relocated bases, but I launched an air mission from here with all three of my and here, we had some different units. I must have had the wrong ones, but these are the right ones here, A3, A37s. I launched all three of them with a uh, bombardment strike mission against this port, but I needed to roll a 5 or six, R6, and I think I rolled a 3, so that was unsuccessful, and I relocated my uh, air group base because I want to be able to hit all three of these, I guess, if I get a chance to. I don't know if it's three turns, so I guess I'll get a chance on each one. But... Uh, what else have we got going on here? You can see, historically, they were threatening Tegucigalpa. You can see where they're doing that. Now, I got a unit coming on in, but he won't get there until about the third turn. So we'll see how much of help he'll be. Uh, he, can, he can just get next to him. He can soak off some of their attacks. Uh, that's a good unit in there. He's a three raider, or three defense strength, so it's going to take at least six to uh, dislodge me. But... uh He's only got ones. These are all one attack factor, so he'll need to bring in six units, which we probably can do. But there you go. Now, uh, up here, I went on the offensive, and that's why I got my point back. He's got two points, but he's only got one victory point because every time, luckily for me, I inflict a hit or a step loss on his units, I get a uh, minus one victory point. So it's all about the, uh, the blue player, the Salvadoran player's units getting victory points and me trying to keep him from getting them, but I inflicted a step loss on him. That gave me a victory point. We were at where we're at. So he is down 7 to 1. And uh, like I said, we're waiting on his moves. He did eliminate a couple of my units, but he don't get no victory points for him. There's a couple of units that were eliminated already. I guess were the units that were on these spots here. There you go. Off and running on the uh, football war scenario. Little three-turn game. And we'll let you know how it goes. We'll be back.